What's up everyone, it's Hass here again, and today I've decided to make a video on stats in Endless Dungeon, as I've noticed a lot of questions and confusion on forums have been regarding specific terms that exist in the game, so while I won't be explaining all of them, I'll go through some of the most confusing and important stats that people have been asking about, and in the case I miss one that you still feel is very confusing, make sure to ask in the comment section. I also have several other guides and tutorials for Endless Dungeon, so if you're interested in more, especially ones I release in the future, make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. So first of all, to not waste time on explaining every single stat in the game that is well explained or is obvious from their name immediately, I'd like to get this out of the way and introduce the game's glossary. I've already mentioned this in my 5 tips video, but it's just really that useful. If you still have trouble understanding some of the mechanics or terms in the game, I would first go to the library in the saloon and look through the glossary tab that has basic explanation for everything that's in the game, or at least 90% of all terms. I think it's pretty useful, but combined with this video and what I'll explain shortly, it should give you a close to 100% understanding of everything you need to know in Endless Dungeon, and to be able to customize and build your heroes and understanding every change. So with the glossary introduced, let's go into the stats I found people have the most trouble with, Wit, Efficiency, and Critical Strikes. The most troubling attribute in the game by far is the wit stat for your heroes and characters, since even if the glossary has a basic description for it, it definitely requires more explanation as it's a relatively complex mechanic that matters quite a lot for turret-based gameplay. In Endless Dungeon you're able to boost turrets by shoving them with your melee hit that hopefully everyone knows by now, and how effectively you're boosting a turret is determined by your wit stat. One thing that's unchanged regardless of how many points you have in wit is the duration of the buff. No matter what, when you shove a turret, they will be boosted for 8 seconds that is indicated by their barrels or the turret itself glowing yellow, so it's easy to track. Now for the actual boost, every point in wit will increase the damage and the fire rate of a turret by 2% with a limit on fire rate or in the case of turrets that don't have fire rate stat, where the fire rate boost also goes into damage. So basically, a character with 10 points in their wit stat will give 20% damage and 20% fire rate boost for exactly 8 seconds to the turrets they shove. A minor additional detail to wit is that the more you have, the faster you also hack and get power back during a blackout when power goes offline, but I haven't tested the speed of it and it's relatively fast anyway. Next one on the list is Ability Efficiency that you will see on almost every single hero chip you can purchase in Comrades Workshop for your characters, and this term specifically is pretty confusing since it isn't really an industry standard so let's clear it up. But the developers already responded that efficiency will be patched out with a more precise term. I've seen guesses that it lowers ability cooldown, but that is not the case, there is a separate upgrade for it in some cases so it isn't cooldowns. Every ability in Endless Dungeon will have certain effects attached to it, be it healing for Shroom, damage for Zed or the damage and fire rate buff from her ultimate, duration I think on Bunker's ultimate, or how effective buffs are from Fassie's cocktails and turret damage buffs from Sweeper. Efficiency is basically a combined neutral term for increasing each of these main effects on all the hero's abilities. It's that simple, so once you understand what it means, you will have a 50% boost on damage, healing, buffs or their durations, and that's pretty much it. It really isn't complicated, I think it's just that the different term from the usual ones used in gaming makes you think this must be some new complex mechanic we haven't heard about yet, but it's basically just a neutral term for increasing the main effects on all your abilities. Hope this helps. Finally, the last term I think that needs a bit of explanation is Critical Strikes. Despite the base term being very common and simple, there is a twist about it in Endless Dungeon. In Endless Dungeon there are 5 damage types for weapons, Fire, Electric, Acid, Light and Neutral, and for every damage type you have the usual damage increase in case of a critical, which is hard to test, and I'm not sure but seems to be a varying buff of 100 to 150% increased damage, but again I am not sure about this one, know that it does increase your damage by a lot. What's more important is that in the case of elemental weapons, you can check it in the workshop, each of them also trigger an elemental effect in case of a critical hit, burn in case of fire, poison in the case of acid, stun if you have an electric weapon, and confusion for light weapons. So next to the increased damage for each critical strikes, you will also cause these elemental effects on the enemy, and you'll see a giant explosion that indicates this happening. So those are the three main stats I think that needed further explanation currently in Endless Dungeon. The rest I think is well described in the glossary of the library, so I hope this video helped especially with wit and efficiency. 
If you have any additional stats you don't understand much, feel free to ask in the comments or read them through as I'll answer all questions as best as I can and I'm sure others will also help out if they know more. Thank you for watching everyone, like and subscribe if this video helped, but for now take care and I'll see you all the next time.